I'm gonna briefly go over the agenda so we can get started. Uh, first, we'll, we're gonna begin with the recitation of the Holy Quran, followed by some background information on the history of Master Al Rasul. Then we'll have a keynote speech by Maulana Sheikh Ahmed Hanif. Then I will go over some of the updates on the Masjid building project and follow with some, uh, some frequently asked questions. However, due to the shortness of time that we have, I'm only going to cover the questions that are in the brochure that you have. Then we will uh, make a prayer, have a groundbreaking ceremony, and then we'll close out with uh, dua and ziyarat. Inshallah, without further ado, I would like to invite up to the podium for the recitation of the Holy Quran, Surah Al Balad, by Haji Tariq Erd. Salawat. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأن تهل بهذا البلد ووالد وما ولد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في كبد أيحسب أن لن يقدر عليه أحد يقول أخلقت مالا لبدا أيحسب أن لم يره أحد ألم نجله عينين ولسانا وشفتين وهديناه النجدين فلاقتهم الأقبة وما أدراك ما أقبة فق ركبة أو إطعام في يوم الدين مسقبة يتيما ذا مطربة أو مسكينا ذا مطربة ثم كان من الذين آمنوا آمنوا وتواصوا بالصبر وتواصوا بالمرحمة أولئك أصحاب الميمنة والذين كفروا بآياتنا هم أصحاب المشهمة عليهم نار مؤصدة صلوات I'm not going to say it in English. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I swear by the city, and you are free to punish the enemies of Islam on the day in this city. And by the begetter, and that which is begotten, verily he have created man in toil. Does he think that no one can overcome him? He says boastfully, I have wasted wealth in abundance. Does he think that no one sees him? Have we not made for him two eyes, and a tongue, and two lips, and shown him the two ways, good and evil? But he has not attempted to pass on the path that is steep, which will lead to goodness. And what will make you know the path that is steep? Freeing a slave, or giving food in the day of famine, to an orphan near of kin, or to a, cle or to a needy cleaving to dust? Then he become one of those who believed, and recommended one another to perseverance and patience, and also recommended one another to pity and compassion. They are those on the right hand, the dwellers of paradise. For those who disbelieve in our proofs, they are those of the left hand, the dwellers of hell. The fire will be shut over them. Salawat. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, there are a lot of verses in this uh, Surah Al Balad that ring strong for this community. Inshallah, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to be successful in all of our endeavors. I would now like to invite uh, Haji Hassan Abdul Karim to come forward and provide us some background information on Masjid Al Rasul. Salawat.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم with the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful assalamu alaikum may the peace be upon you 30 years ago a dream of establishing a place of prayer where the oppressed found a safe haven and where justice for all Allah's creatures was advocated for came in the form of a small masjid on South Central Avenue in the Watts area of Los Angeles, California. This unassuming masjid will go on to do great and powerful things in the historical neighborhood of Watts, Los Angeles. Through the courageous and sincere spirit of its founder, minister, or what Muslims refer to as an Imam, Mujahid Abdul Karim, the mosque was developed into an integral and essential platform for the advocating of social change and justice for the peoples of the wider community. Imam Mujahid knew it was important to incorporate themes of community engagement and empowerment through the all-encompassing spiritual vessel of the message of Islam. He and other prominent members of the mosque began to bring the Islamic message of peace, justice, reconciliation, in particular to the poor and disenfranchised low-income housing projects of Watts. For over a decade, Imam Mujahid worked on bringing Islam and the message of peace between the warring blood and crip gangs of Watts. And in 1992, Masjid al-Rasul with the help of Allah Almighty began, became the site location where over a hundred gang leaders began to discuss their differences and ultimately signed the historic first ever Watts Gang Peace Treaty. Through these efforts such as these, the masjid, the masjid is viewed by Watts residents as a spiritual pillar of the community. Through the establishment of Masjid Al Rasul Number no. Two of the Fifth Ward, Houston, we seek to expand upon this initiative. Allah willing, this this mosque being built on Jensen Drive, the first ever mosque built in the Fifth Ward of Houston, will service the community of the Fifth Ward with Islamic guidance, love, community engagement, and connectedness that will help further the enduring and universal message of Islam. May the peace and blessings be upon all of you. And assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. As, um, as uh, Brother Hassan was saying, uh, the effort into Masha al Rasul has been 30 years in the making. Inshallah, this is an extension and inshallah it will be able to achieve even more, Allah willing. Uh, I'd like to now invite uh, a phenomenal Shaykh who has blessed us on these 10 nights of Muharram with his Majalis. I would like to invite Maulana Shaykh Ahmed Hanif to speak to the community. Salawat. Salawat.